The story that had a grim preface in the horror of Nazi concentration camps comes to an equally grim end in Israel, as Adolf Achmann is sentenced for his crimes against humanity. Defense attorney Robert Savacious will automatically appeal, but this is the end for Eichmann, who was seized in Buenos Aires in 1960 and spirited to Israel. The three judges started to study the evidence when the four-month trial ended in August and found Eichmann guilty on 15 counts of the indictment. In his bulletproof booth, Eichmann sits stoically as the charges are summed up. The unseen witnesses against this former Gestapo colonel are the six million Jews he is convicted of slaughtering. The judges then call on the defendant to stand as they pass their sentence. The end of a trail of blood and horror. The end of a man whose name will be written in infamy. The man who escaped the Nuremberg war trials by fleeing to South America receives justice at the hands of the people whom he had aimed to wipe out. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, we, uh, oh, I forgot. I still have a couple of videos playing. Um, so uh, we have another uh, Midwest League match tonight. Uh, so I've played uh, two games against Craig in the first round. Uh, technically, though, it only needs to be a best of one. And uh, that's what uh, Matt and Frank are going to be doing. Uh, Frank uh, ch has the higher seed, and he chose to be the U.S., so, um, Matt, uh, good luck to you. And, um, yeah, we'll be uh, watching both sides. We'll see uh, Frank's hand uh, in the top during the stream. All right, I'm joined. All right. By... All right, good luck, Matt. Thank you. All right, I'm joined by uh, Jeremy. We have all of Team Illinois here tonight. Jeremy, how you doing? Doing good, Derek. How about yourself? Great. All right, let's see what we got so matt doesn't have a lot of ops the cards are the right color at least <laughs> yeah that's true okay frank has not opened the game yet so we don't see his hand yet yeah i actually don't have his open i've got the tracker um that, this is AI War. You could maybe do Cambridge, but I think AI War is better for, for Matt. Yeah. I could see the case for Cambridge, given he doesn't have any scoring cards. But, yeah, I'd probably say AI War. Frank. Oh, there you go, Frank. Frank has joined the action. Well, looking at this hand, it's definitely not the Cambridge Five. Um, oh yeah, I've seen Frank's yeah. hand. Yeah, Cambridge Five will be a swing and a miss because I'm assuming Frank is going to headline Middle East. Yeah, and he's got Nasser in hand, so that that's great. And standard setup makes a ton of sense. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what Matt's going to choose here. Frank has to be beyond thrilled Z and Dopec in his hand, not Matt's. <laughs> yeah. He might try to hold that. I'm kind of got a little tongue-in-cheek, but he might try to hold that all the way through to turn three. I know I sure would. Mm -hmm. All right, so Frank pretty quickly picks Middle East, and Matt does go with Arab Israeli. And of course, rolls a six. So immediate six from Matt. Yeah. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Mid -least, Midwest League playoffs, Frank. Mm. My goodness, am I glad I won't see Matt until the finals? <laughs> he embarrassed me in our uh, one game in Midwest League this year. Matt had some very quality wins. He in did, Midwest. yeah. So I blissfully. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, he doesn't have uh, adjacency. What? Yeah, no, that's that's. Oh, because he has Truman, I guess. Okay. Yeah, which I, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I, I get that. I didn't see Truman in person. Italy. But I wouldn't agree with an Italy coup without adjacency. No, no, yeah, definitely not. All right. <laughs> that was a multiple of six. <laughs> I 
would say, I, I think you should pick your side based on, you know, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. But Frank did pick the side for that will let Matt do all the cooing. Yeah, actually, that is interesting. Uh, maybe he did some uh, research into his matchups with Matt and saw something there that made him think uh, the U.S. would be better. Or, as you said, he just is more comfortable as the U.S. Frank looks like he was reaching for U.S. Japan. Yeah, right now, and he locked this in, which I like, I think, just easy. Oh, yeah. Yep, I love that. We are, I assume, going to immediately see a coup of Pakistan from Matt. With the China card? Uh, uh, he might go to Gaul. Oh, he's he's being, oh, of Malaysia. Oh, I would use a two-op if you're going to go for that. Yeah. Okay, and in Midwest League, the default timer is 90 minutes, so they do have the full timer if they need it. Oh. That's not great. So he uh, he rolled that six on AI War and then a couple of twos mm -hmm. for that. So if you're Frank, do you drop DEFCON here? Hey, Frank doesn't have a D card in his hand. He He's doesn't. On Thailand. And but he doesn't have Vietnam. Although you would assume that if Matt had Vietnam, he would have headlined it over Arab Israeli. Yep. And so we know that Matt doesn't have a D card, but Frank can't know that. So I think he has. I like India and Malaysia, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, so. I wouldn't mind that. He's thinking about India, France instead, which is what he's locked in here. What do you think of that, Derek? Yeah, I mean, France, he's got to fill it up eventually anyway. But India was clearly important. India was a must if you're not mm -hmm. going to drop Defcon, I think. Yeah. Oh, I. And I know you, you you think Matt's just going to coup Malaysia again must be the, the thinking of not <laughs> that, that could but be, yeah. I don't know. I think I still like getting an op into Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh-oh. Oh, no way is he going to coup India. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No way. Are you serious? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. You know, I was just, I had a spiel ready about how Matt hadn't done anything, anything crazy in the game in a long time. And then he goes and does a China <laughs> card coup of India. What? I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, so Matt, what the f Okay. So what what is the benefit there over cooing Pakistan? Um, he's like you're, you're, you're still gonna lose the race to Thailand. Yeah, and that's a great move from Frank, I think. Yeah. All right, now Matt fills India, and I'm assuming Frank is gonna Indo pack right away. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just. I don't know. <laughs> My brain short circuited a little bit there. <laughs> In ITSL, somebody on AR1 cooed France against me, and this is having a similar effect. Uh -huh. That's true. I mean, what are we at? We're at ten mil ops for Matt thus far. <laughs> Sad that they don't all count. Yeah. 
Uh, Actually, 11, I think. Oh, he goes this for the fine. poke here. I'm thinking he's assuming that Frank has Europe scoring. This is, I think it's a perfectly fine thing to do. Although now, I mean, Frank should start leaking ops into India. And oh, for sure. Getting anything out of your ridiculous China card coup of India. Mm -hmm. I mean, Frank is kind of running out of usable ops. He has um, duck and cover. Then Indo pack, he probably wants to event. And then um, Socialist, he's holding for Blockade, and Nasser. That's who's got to be his old card, right? He's Yeah. Although, honestly, with Matt, or Matt winning the AI war, access to Egypt isn't that... That's true, it's not that big a deal. deal. That could actually be a decent... Well, no, he's going to get into back from the lap. So right, like... right. I think one... Thailand in one India, which is what he seems to be hovering his cursor over, makes a lot of sense. Oh, it was Formosan was the other card he had. Okay. And fixing West Germany and going, yeah, that might also is good. Yeah, he has no status of Europe, so getting domination back makes a lot of sense. And this, this is weird seeing both hands, because I'm like, you don't have to do anything about Europe. <laughs> he doesn't know that. <laughs> He has no idea, and yeah, when your opponent does a poke like that to stop domination, that's got to be your first worry. Oh, Matt's a little pokey tonight. This is actually going to be pretty annoying. It's very Frank. annoying for Frank, yeah. This is sh shockingly effective. Um... It's going to get Matt Algeria, I would think. Oh, it's... Because Frank Millops, he needs to protect France. Yeah. I think you might see him just protect France, just uh, retake France with Nasser. With Nasser, or... Um... Yeah, because Socialist is going to lose you domination. Yep. And Indopac, your whole new event. Yeah, Nasser for influence makes sense. This kind of thing is almost a day and that's a really weak looking play to uh, to Matt. Let's we'll see if he just pokes again. Mm -hmm. Colonel Nasa, Egyptian leader and hero of the moment, is mobbed. Yeah, I think I'd poke again because it could be surprisingly effective. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, because Frank needs mill ops. He wants to take Thailand. Yeah, yeah, that's really annoying. So I actually really liked that turn from Matt, except for the one about <laughs> insanity. There, there, there's one AR where I think I could have disagreed with his play, but yeah, outside <laughs> of that, I think it was a good turn. And Matt does have control of Truman. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Frank is saying in chat, two doms greater than Milops, right? As he will. Oh, he's going to take domination in both regions. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, the only worry is Thailand is vulnerable to a coup. But at least Matt doesn't have the China card to do it with. Yeah, and he does have it back. Okay. So oh, that gets... and he does get Vietnam. Which he is headlining pretty quickly here. Uh, now, will that stop? That no, that wouldn't stop domination though. No. So if you're Frank holding decal, do you headline Asia here? I think so. And yeah, yes. yeah, that makes sense. All right, Frank gets away with Asia. Let's see what Matt does if he does decide to 
used a little Vietnam boost for a Thailand coup, even though it scored. I don't know, what would you do here? Uh, I would take a coup, and then, yeah. uh, but not in Thailand. Um, Even with, well, he rolls a six, of course. Okay. Um, um, well, because if he just rolled a four, then Frank could have flipped it. But with, if he does uh, that, then he gets a coup on Panama as well. That's true. That's and my he thought. actually doesn't have a four op to just flip. Okay, so maybe I'm coming around to this line of thinking. I'm trying. I might... I might give up on card tracking here. It's kind of a lot to do both hands. <laughs> oh, are right you actually there. trying to track both? Yeah, that's hard. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm not good. <laughs> this tracker. Just call it a night. Yeah. So, Frank now looking to take a coup. Okay, I'm assuming this is Egypt. Oh. All right, so Matt. An immediate destall, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was about to say. You take, take Algeria first. Actually, I like taking Algeria first. You can, you can trade Algeria for Angola. Yeah. I actually like taking Algeria but, first, but I understand. But what that. do you take it with? <laughs> That's a good point. Um, probably have to be Norad. Yeah. And yet one there, and then just the three in South America, I think. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, it seems to be rethinking it. I, what do you think about it? I think Algeria's better actually you know like algeria and lebanon although he didn't have access to lebanon so yeah not... i was gonna say lebanon but then yeah he frank doesn't have access oh, or what about algeria and one india oh, i do not agree with spacing now oh yeah i would take oh, well, that's the role at least but yeah um like i i think my play would have been two algeria one india there with norad yeah it just it sucks to give up norad that early that's a card that just never works for me. No. If you event it yourself as the U.S., then you get quagmired in turn four. If you play it as the Soviets, then it nags you for the rest of the game. Yep. Yeah, and it does look like Frank is planning on taking Algeria here. He's reached for NTB. Oh, 100% take Algeria. Yep. And I would go one Angola, one India, I think. Yeah. I think it's got to be the three in Africa, and I don't see anything more important than India. I think Iraq, I get that because you're going to be pigeonholed out of the Middle East, but I think that could have waited. Yeah, you got plenty of ARs for that. Um, although, I mean, truthfully, looking at his hand. Well, this has just got to be. Wait, no, no. What? No, you need to event that. Not now, but it just needs to be destall here. His IP war is gone. Like, I mean, it'll come back. Oh obviously. wait! Oh, that's right. He, I forgot he played IP war. Um, yeah, this doesn't make sense at all. And this is a scored region. Like, let's just destall and get our yeah stuff going in Africa. I 100 percent agree with destalling. And you still want to event this to get, even though you have destall in hand, you haven't seen decall. Obviously, we know it is in fact in Frank's hand, but well, but eventing at this point really doesn't do anything. 
Like, we know he has decal, but he can still hold it. Well, you'd have to play the China card, though. Yeah, but I'd be willing to play the China card to hold decal. Uh, well, then, I think to kind of go along with that, I think using blockade as a Nixon plays the China card is okay, okay too. True. Good point. Yeah, I definitely don't agree with using in Southeast Asia. Yeah, he wants to use his Vietnam bonus. Which I get that to some extent, but with D style in your hand, you want to get that out quick. So the China card has now been played twice into India, and there are only five total ops there. That can be a riddle for the Discord later. How did that happen? <laughs> I just got a news alert that Henry Kissinger just died. Yeah, I saw that uh, a little bit ago. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they're, uh, I don't know, we're, we're losing uh, the people on the Twilight we're Struggle cards. cards. We lost uh, um, Carter a couple days ago. Not Jimmy, Richard. not Jimmy Carter, but. Um, oh, Rosalind. Right. Rosalind Carter, yeah. What? She's on uh, Panama Canal. That's right. All right. Yeah, you got to do D style now. Come on, man. I would keep the one in West Germany. No, those are annoying ops. For people yeah. Like yeah, don't take out of those take one out of vietnam is great I mean, and then you just take one out of east germany you take one out of thailand honestly. Thai, i was gonna say thailand's way overprotected that would be fine i would take one out of east germany before west like willie matters then mm -hmm. so this d stall is fine i just would have taken different germany yep Right, again, not great ops here, although he did have, he started out with some nice cards. Matt will be happy to see this one for sure. Oh, I didn't see what he reached for there. What's missing? Uh, CIA. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what are Frank's priorities here? He's going to want to overprotect Pakistan. Get another op into France. Try to get an op into Colombia. Saharan isn't as good of an idea with the mill op situation as it is. Yeah. It would be. Um, depending on what Matt does in Venezuela, maybe getting into Colombia. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Matt is really trying to get a lot out of that Vietnam bonus. Yeah, well, he is. If he gets Southeast Asia scoring, that'll pay off. But I especially yeah, think he should have filled Venezuela there. I was just going to say, one had to go to Venezuela. I would have liked to have gotten one into Zaire. Yeah. Or you could have just taken a Middle East dom by going Libya and Lebanon. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things that would have been better than that. Now, Frank's got to go Colombia, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're protecting France is good. He's UNing socialist is what we're okay. looking at. Yeah, that makes sense. Colombia, good. What about getting one into Jordan to threaten? Is that too much work to... Get access to Lebanon? Like, what else can he do? Now Saharan makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we're Tunisia. It's interesting. Threaten Libya. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't seen any of this yet. Let's go up. Yeah, I could say, yeah, Tunisia, I like, I like that. Colombia, I like, yeah, France, he wants to get that domination. And we haven't seen Suez yet. Yep. But Suez could knock out the UK as well. All right, so he does overprotect Colombia, Tunisia, and Pakistan. All right, makes sense. Picked a lot of boxes with that yep. uh, last. This is a pretty nice hand for Frank. He doesn't love seeing sock govs come right back. But it's a very nice hand for Matt. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you got to think about De Gaulle, right? Yeah, that could be interesting. Because with the way Matt's left South America, giving Frank a coup is terrible in Africa, but it then would allow him to protect South America. Places <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Africa, though, would be in really rough shape. Rubble, for sure. But, yeah, I think Tegal might be worth it. I mean, you know Frank has Europe. And Tegal was a redraw. Suez is known, so that's why Correct. Frank isn't even considering Europe, because it's insane. So he really doesn't have a good headline at all here. Probably just Romanian, but then you start to worry about country count. Mm -hmm. Although if you do Romanian, you could event any Matt, reds. You could event, yeah, Matt Coos, and then he's probably assuming a Suez headline instead of is, is what I'm thinking. So then he's thinking. I mean, Purge is known as well. That's never a bad headline. All right, we do get Romanian versus the Gaul. And this is just taking France, right? The oh, yeah. Purge. Oh, my De Gaulle video isn't working for some reason. None of my videos okay. are working. Uh oh, did I lose my connection? Matt does take France. Yeah, yeah, that was a clear move. And that, that Romanian headline is now, I don't know, I mean, I don't know what else. Frank was supposed to do, but that yeah. was real unfortunate. Yeah, no, he didn't know about De Gaulle. No, I think it was the right play, but boy, mm -hmm. it did not work out. And I like taking Portugal is good, and I like to Venezuela. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Because if Matt Coos, you get your uh, well, you're not, or you get your scoring off. I was gonna say you don't get, you don't get downed. Yeah, I like this a lot. Me too. You can still grab Libya. Like, there's a lot of good stuff going on here. Okay. So Matt's suspicious. Well, it's not that he's suspicious. He knows he has Europe. Oh, that's right. We do. <clears throat> yeah, so now if Frank coups, then Matt can take Greece. And Frank really doesn't have good apps to fight this. He might have to go ahead and. Yeah, what do you do here, Derek? Do you grab Greece? Oh, you... I, I would have rather thrown that op into Zaire. But eh, Brazil's fine, actually. Never mind. 
Yeah, no, I, I like Brazil. And yeah, I think you fight this. I, I You could use Comic-Con. I, I know that. But I mean, this is that old scenario, right? Where the coup is worth four VPs. Oh, oh true. Now, now the Korean War is known, right? So you know that Matt has a way to get his mill ops. Yeah, so. so it's really not worth that. But if you do knock Matt out of Angola, that's pretty big. Videl is interesting in case Matt redrew CIA, which we, of course, know he didn't, but I do like getting that out early in the turn. Mm -hmm. There's Videl. Oh, uh, he mantled that really quick, and I don't know if I agree with it. Um, it is annoying. Yeah, I mean, you know, he has decal Europe. Indie Reds, and I can't remember if Comic Con was a redraw or not. I think Comic Con is known. Okay, so you know, so he knows he's got at least one decent card here. And then Frank knows about Marshall Plan, Korean Five Year Plan. Does he know about? He's Norad was... is Norad was spaced, so Norad's the only unknown. So I mean, Marshall isn't really very playable here. True. Five-year plan, obviously, you can't do. Matt wants to use Korean War for mill ops. <laughs> Frank saying, God, that headline was so bad. Yes. <laughs> but like um, you, you said, I mean, he really didn't have much of a choice. Oh, Unless yeah, you... no, it was the right play. It just yeah. went horribly, horribly wrong for him. Mm -hmm. Um. So I don't... Can you get... Well, Matt can always display the China card, but what if Frank used Comic Con here and went one UK? Like he could even poke France. Is that nuts? He could poke Brazil, I'm... start going down towards Uruguay. Like I think Frank, even though his hand sucks, he has some room to be aggressive. Well, but once he plays Comic Con, he's done. Yeah, so he's actually thinking about taking the coup because he thinks he can regain this dom or uh, prevent this dom pretty easily at this point and he might be right about that oh i forgot yeah I'm not seeing the card he's holding right now but okay and oh yeah indie reds okay um yeah i could see taking a coup with indie reds and that's what he does oh and he rolls a one but it's just enough to get man out of there effective enough thankfully gonna grab Korea uh, I think if you're playing the China card you gotta, you gotta just grab South Korea yeah but he had it first is better than Afghanistan because uh, if you just take Korea with Korean War you're not getting middle ops is the problem with this yeah And I definitely hope he's not planning on eventing the war. I don't know. The way the dice work for him, maybe uh, that's what he's thinking. That's true. But yeah, I, <laughs> I wouldn't agree that with great that. Form this game. He's had a couple sixes, but he's had some mm -hmm. twos too. Yeah, so what do you do if you're afraid? you got to fix the UK, I think. And then do you poke something to be annoying? You could take Libya or do you just try? Because you can't totally shore up Europe. If Matt is able to just poke, 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 poke. But yeah. he's got five years for the Korean War Marshall, so you know he can't do that. But he could do it with Marshall. If he double pokes something with Marshall. 
Oh, that's true. Yeah, they had played it first. Yeah, if you or did something nuts like jam Portugal, yeah. All right, well, we got a little folding pattern here in Europe. Yeah, I guess Frank now. Yeah, I think Frank's getting down here. Yeah. And Matt's not getting mill ops. Yeah, because... Kind of but an interesting one. Yeah, because I'm assuming Frank will block the Dom here. And then Matt will get it back. And then, yeah, you're right, he won't get his mill ops. But that's preferable to... Frank's uh, not Korea either. Oh, actually, Although with Comic Con, with Comic Con, I think you could get. I think you could get domination. Well, I, it depends on what Frank does here. I think if Frank takes UK and Canada, then Matt would have to do a double poke somewhere. But if he just takes UK, then Matt could just take one of the three stab Eastern European countries and Korea with Marshall plan. Hmm. Cause the count right now is five to four, right? Okay. Yeah. So it'll be even if Frank takes UK. Frank could also, and I don't know where he put this out, but if he just put one into Canada. Yeah. That would also help with Marshall plan. Then I think Matches doesn't take Korea, though. He just plays Korean War. Right, right. So that doesn't stop your down. So looking at Frank's screen, he put one. I didn't see where it went. I assume UK. He's put one in Venezuela, which is interesting. Yeah, he's thinking about things over. He's, he's backed that out. Okay, let's see. Well, he's going to do what Matt did. Oh, he's... Yeah, he's... Making Matt do it first. I like that. Yeah, I think Frank's okay. thinking things over here. And he wants to see what Matt does with these Comic-Con ops, which yeah. makes sense. All right, Matt's counting up the countries here. Yeah, I agree with the Battlegrounds and then do two of the three stabs. Yeah, I think it's just the standard placement. Mm -hmm. We'll do check over that one. Yeah. Bulgaria? I think so. Yeah, I really see ops in Bulgaria. <laughs> Maybe we'll see Matt coup that with the Chinese. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not that big a deal, but check can sometimes be relevant if you get realigns in the late war. Yeah, so Frank... Thinking about shoring up mid-war regions here. It's This is okay. It's going to stop Matt from getting mill ops. going to stop him from taking Korea. But you're going to get Dom in Europe. I mean, I don't think Frank can stop Dom in Europe at this point. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this play from Frank. Yeah, I mean, force him to play Marshall. Yeah, Marshall would just take Hugo in Korea is pretty pretty clear, right? Yeah. Agreed. I I kind of think maybe Frank should have just scored Europe. Now that I think about it, because now you don't get an AR seven play. Oh, that's a good point. He kind of did his AR7 play by going to Saharan States, though. So actually, no. Yeah, that's true. This is fine. Yeah, what you got is great. Yeah, this makes sense. Our policy is directed not against any country or doctrine, but against hunger, poverty, desperation, and chaos. 
Its purpose should be the revival of a working economy in the world so as to permit the emergence of political and social conditions in which free and right, so fairly exist. even so going into the mid-war. not be on a piecemeal basis as various crises develop. BP yeah, Japan, a pretty big priority for Frank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Block that Asia dom. Rather than a mere or Southeast Asia with all those Vietnam ops. Uh, looks good for Matt right now. Uh, big question is, will Matt get a Angola card? Yeah, that would be huge. Because none of them are in Frank's hand. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, but he had Junta, which to me looks like a pretty clear headline. Oh, and he got IP war <laughs> with Frank. Um, so, yeah, I think you go Junta Mexico, Coup Panama, or... Uh, do you want to do... I think probably Mexico. Mexico is better than Venezuela, right? Yeah, I think so, because you already have access to the bottom half. I mean, you are worried about uh, VOA, but not much you can do about it. Oh, you're also worried about that. It's a fun little, like, they, they just quickly organized the OAS in response to this junta that's happening. <laughs> oh, he is going South America. Although I think I would go Argentina with this OAS play. Oh, he's going to coup. With a, with oh, I don't know if I agree with this because a bigger card to coup with though. I, his I, ops are terrible. Yeah, I, I think you want to drop Defcon. Yeah, okay. And so then you can looking, coup Saharan states. Now he's looking at Venezuela, so I, I, this is fine. Ooh, That's not fine. No. The roll is not. Yeah. It would just be. So ridiculously brutal for Matt with his ops if Frank psychically knew to do one Venezuela, one Argentina here. But I think we'll probably just see two Argentina, right? Uh, I mean, one and one, you're getting one of them. Okay, yeah, two Argentina. I think we know too much, Derek. With, uh, I know, I know. About, uh, the thoughts about doing one and one. One and one would have been amazing, but I think two, two, uh, what you, Argentina. Yeah. Makes. Did you agree with taking Venezuela there, or would you have cooed Saharan states first? Well, obviously, oh, if you cooed Venezuela is better. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's down. Yeah, or, but I mean, then, but then you take Chile. Well, but if you give up Venezuela, then Frank's got two battlegrounds. Right, but what I'm saying is he could have cooed, then Frank takes Venezuela, then you take Chile in response. I don't know, but Matt doesn't have a lot of ops to do much no. of anything here, so I don't know if there are any good options. Yeah, Frank's hand is not great either, but it is definitely better. Oh, yeah. I feel like we've said that a couple times where they've both mm -hmm. had not great hands. This is a good use of duck and cover, though. Mm, yeah, I like that. And he doesn't go into Angola, but I think... He... Yeah, because actually, Hoops was a really strong headline, so that... I think I would have liked to have gotten a knob into Angola there. He's not going to get uh, punished for it, we know. But... Mm -hmm. Uh, space is really important here. I don't think I would coup yet. I think I would space first. With, with IP war. Actually, Camp David is annoying here. Camp David's really annoying. Frank did do that. Uh, that played in Tunisia, and then nobody has gone to Libya. <laughs> yeah. Libya's just sitting there. Will someone please influence me? It's kind of funny, because like, you do a play to just really make... 
force the action towards that one particular country and then just nothing happens for mm -hmm. a full turn. It's strange how yeah, this game works sometimes. I, I have to say, Frank will breathe such a sigh of relief <laughs> if uh, IP war goes for ops. Yeah, it does. And that would have been a consequential IP war, too. I mean, I know... I think I would have just put Camp David into Libya. And here, what is Frank saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that IP the war... To have been a... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that IP war, if that hits, then, man. Big deal. Yeah. I think I should have been Camp David into Libya. Even though Camp David is a very annoying card. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, I think I'd agree. But, yeah, Matt doesn't have a lot of good options this turn. Yeah, love that from Frank. Chilly, uh, and nothing about Frank's screen. Um,. Uh oh. Okay. Uh... And that that actually it is a, a tap for uh, for Frank. That IP war was. Yeah. Yeah. That's. All right. Hang on. I'm going to. Uh... Like you said earlier, is there... are you? Uh, is Matt's screen really uh, lagging for you? Uh, it's been fine for me. Okay. Well, it's lagging Here. for me because my internet is uh -oh. just not behaving. All right. So Frank is going to play lads. It looks like he's going to take. Panama, and I didn't see where the second one went, so I guess we'll have to see where it goes on Matt's screen. No, oh, it's out here. Makes sense. Frank is now two ops away from an Africa control. That's always nice. I think I would just dump the scoring here. Yeah, got to do it at some point. Yeah, this is right, I think. Yep, that makes sense. What do you do with a uh, five-year plan? You got to hold it, right, with Africa as horrible as it is? Yeah. Usually when you have a card like Panama Canal, I like having that so you can sort of nullify it, but yeah. it, it's not that important here to do that. And I agree, Africa, it, you could somehow get that. That would be great to dump it with five-year plan. And they both failed the space race. I might just take care of Panama now then. Yeah, Andy's annoying. I think I like it more as an AR7 play though to try to make Frank not have an AR7 play. I agree. Frank will repair. This is just one of those annoying things where you play Camp David right after API War. Mm hmm. Uh, 
I think Lebanon is important here. Given oh, Lebanon is very important. So I, I Lebanon and what else, Derek? Oh, he's gonna or go coup with nothing. it. I mean, you already have Milops. So I don't. Yeah, again, he's doing something I would pref I think would be much better on AR seven. Yeah, I would just I just dump Panama and get that out. You don't want that to be you don't want fixing Venezuela to yeah, be your AR seven. I think I agree with that. Oh, I would take and Lebanon. 11. I would take Lebanon over oh, Syria. Yeah, maybe. I definitely wouldn't do that. That doesn't do anything for you. I don't hate getting one into Saudi, but one Saudi, one Lebanon is better. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I think I think we had the ops to take Lebanon, and we should have done that. Like you, you need to take summit to take Lebanon. You could do you two to go South Africa and Lebanon. Yeah. Um. Hmm. <coughs> yep. Summit Lebanon makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Mm, I don't like five year plan. He's reaching for it yeah i get it but i i agree yeah i don't like this at all and like i said like sometimes i can see the benefit of doing this but with how bad africa is i think you want to hold that and try to get africa yeah frank's reaching for the chat box here my comp oh he thought it was going to be Africa <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah I wasn't thinking about what it looked like from his end <laughs> yeah and there's the pen. That makes that's not a threat on AR seven, but that's a very important thing to do on AR seven. Mm. I think he's backed out of that. He's looking for something. This is interesting. Protects Africa potentially. He, uh, sorry, I'm doing it again. He, he's <laughs> thinking about jamming Brazil here. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. And, ooh. Oh, Frank, uh, gets VOA, Africa. Oh, my. We will bury you, Matt. Get some scorings. That gets, I was going to say a nice impression of hand, but two scorings aren't getting any abs. Yeah. South African um, is nice. Yeah, that's got to be it, right? I think so. Man, yeah, not a great hand for Matt. And if uh, Frank goes VOA here, he's going <laughs> to wish that he could go second if Matt yeah goes defector he's thinking about defectors possibly i could see defectors because you're not worried about hitting africa you might be worried about hitting south america but yeah this has but there's uh, a lot of good stuff you have brush war out there you have abm bear trap yeah, bear trap's a little riskier, right? Like bear trap is good, is I think really good if Matt's not doing hmm. something like 
The, yeah. Hmm. Vectors would have been nice there. But he's going to get a coup. Oh, no. Oh, this is real, real bad potential for Matt now. Okay. Yeah, this... We'll be looking at... This game is going to turn south pretty quick for Matt. I think you go with the... Uh, Frank is... Thinking about... I, you know, Frank... I know it's three VPs, but I would just jam We Will Bury You on into Venezuela. Truthfully, though, he doesn't need to do that. Just taking Brazil gets you a strong domination. And if Matt fails again, then maybe you take some real lines. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think you need to do We Will Bury You. Yeah, and he failed, so you don't have to drop DEFCON, that's true. Yeah, had he not failed, maybe I would consider playing it. I also don't hate VOA here. Oh yeah, VOA is pretty relevant too. So if you are going to play VOA, what would you do? It's all South America. All South America? Yeah, just take two Ven, two Brazil, right? Where else would you? Would I you, mean, Asia's pretty Korea? relevant, too. Yeah, that's true. All right, oh, he's going to go with We Will Bury You. A lot to do. It's a crowded board, but there's a lot to do here. This is okay. I mean, he can just drop Africa. Mm -hmm. He can bust into Venezuela if Matt... Oh, oh. man. Mm. Uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that sucks for Matt. I think we'll just grab his 11. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, this this is my one like legitimate beef with the game is that Bear Trap and Quagmire are, are busted, I think. I know. And this it's been a constant discussion about those two cards. But the mechanic to skip make someone skip an AR is great. Mm -hmm. the possibility of like losing a whole turn is horrible and game breaky. I know. It just I am so in love with the theme of the game, and it just so thematically makes sense it that does. I like hate to want to change it, but I understand that it can be just game breaking at times. So first rolls four and up, second rolls five and up, and then forever if you just keep rolling sixes, you get stuck in it. Yeah. How about I, that? I I could I could compromise with that. Of course, that means poor Matt still gets stuck forever, but. Uh yeah. Yeah, and I think Frank seems pretty content to perhaps just take his five in South America, although, he of course, he doesn't know that Matt has it. Mm -hmm. So I think you either need to take... Uh... Oh, okay, he's doing VOA now. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, finally, <clears throat> finally is out. This is a voice speaking from America. The voice yeah, that was rough. America at war. Our voices are coming to you from New York, across the Atlantic Ocean to London, from where they are relayed to you in Germany. Today, America has yeah, been he's not wrong. 79 days. 
daily at this time, we shall speak to you about... This was probably not going to be a great turn for Matt regardless, but... No, but it went from what would be a not great turn to a disastrous turn. So like both of I, both of us were saying, Derek, we were uniformly for Bear Trap as the headline, and it was it was perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. He just goes for that Asia Dom, which, or preventing Asia Dom, I should say. Yeah, because country count, it's going to be tough for Frank to actually get a Dom. Well, and he can always just realign in South America. Oh, that's true. I, I would. What can you do with this op besides putting it in Venezuela and praying, honestly? Yeah, I, I think that's what you have to do. I, mean, I guess you could put one in Uruguay, but I think putting one just it's in it, Venezuela seems yeah, better. Yeah, Uruguay doesn't really do much for you. And... Well, it sets it up if you get really lucky on the real lines. It sets you up to realign Brazil or to uh, do the put one in Brazil and then also take your. But like that. Oh, to poke. Okay, yeah. Like that's really. I think just one in Venezuela is much better, right? Oh, right. uh, Poland's not urgent. I mean, I get it, but. I mean, I was about to say maybe even putting all three of them in Venezuela. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would have done. So you really need to hold on to that. Yeah, Matt's not too thrilled right now. I don't blame him after a mm -hmm. 4 a.m. job. And I think Frank just realigns, right? Uh, yeah, looks like that's where he's going. Oh, that's a good one for Matt. Oh, oh that's oh, not. Oh, no. That wasn't. Oh, dear. This is, so you need mill ops. You just need to coup Columbia here. Yeah, because that gives you presence oh. and mill ops. And mill ops. That's four VPs, yeah. Mm hmm Okay. I mean, the unfortunate thing is Frank's going to coop back here because he also needs mill ops, yeah. but I think that was pretty necessary for Matt. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has just two ops to coup with. So you're hoping he just rolls low enough to not knock Matt out. Not knock Matt out. Oh, he's going for influence. Factors and he doesn't coup. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, it's good for Matt. I mean, not good compared to where he was at the beginning of the turn, but. No, he was at nine after. Uh, the after Middle, Middle East, East, yeah. I think for Frank right here, puppets to threaten. Cuba seems really good. Where do you go with the third one? Um, maybe Cameroon. Just because Cameroon, you could even do Guatemala. Go all at Central America since it's done. Since oh, it's done that's before. true. Yeah, yeah, I can see going all central with it. I don't. Yeah, I think Cameroon is the only other thing that makes any sense. And he does central. Okay. All right. Frank's got some stuff here. Ah, uh, ooh, brush war, Pope, missile envy, kitchen, salt, flower power. All right, Matt has Quagmire. Very sad to see Gunman in his hand. That was in a game that's going south for him. That was a path, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of VPs. The one he's highlighting over A for P. USJ is also unfortunate. He's got Asia. He's got to get that out of his hand before he gets domed. Um, what is the country count? Two, no, four. country count, he's not going to get domed. I think he has seven. Five to seven, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
All right, well, uh, Frank's getting U.S. Japan. So six to seven now. I mean, he's just a flip of Lau away from getting downed. That's true. But this has to be a coup in Africa. Um. Well, I guess it doesn't with the quag in effect. Yeah. It protect. I don't think he can really do much about Asia. Yeah, you can't do anything in Asia. He says, oh boy, here it comes for me. Um, That's not, even if you take India, it's not going to flip Dom. Yeah, because. Yeah, I would have rather cooed there. Bring up Sakovs, I assume. I guess you do Muslim, too. Muslim's not bad. Do your payday loan. Oh, he does get a fail. <laughs> Wait, Frank. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I missed Muslim in his hand. Okay. Yeah, this. I... this that was a lot of work. This yeah, of that, that's a lot of ops for just a 2VP swing. If you didn't have the unfortunate missile envy, it would have made sense, but. Okay, so mm. Frank gets out of it in two. So not great, but not devastating. Mm. And Frank still got some nice stuff in his hand. Yeah, and now you're, as Matt, since he didn't drop DEFCON, all that puppets into Central is a big problem for you. Yep. Yeah, that's the other. He lost tempo to deal with that, mm. for sure. Although well, that does help. He picked up a little tempo with that mediocre coup. It's enough to make Frank fill Panama back. Yeah, so at least you can coup Matt uh, and uh, Frank can't do the real lines now. Yeah, I guess you have to use gunmen to coup unless you're going to UN A for P because you can't play shuttle. Yeah. Wait, does shuttle... Oh, actually, shuttle... It's not bad, but then Frank can just take Philippines and take Yeah, Philippines. I think you want to play shuttle after Asia. Play shuttle after. Yeah. All right, take back Panama, I'm assuming. All right, yeah, you gotta protect Cuba here. You can just do it with gunmen, right? Just reach I mean, maybe he wants... Oh, place influence. Uh... No, I don't think there's... It's too early in the turn for something like that. Like, there's yeah. plenty of it. I, I, obviously, I stopped tracking, but there should be plenty of things that Frank could use to fix that. Yeah, it's just two ops. Mm -hmm. Like, just looking at his hand, he's got plenty he can use to fix it. But I feel like we've seen most of the one-ups already. Yeah, I don't. I think that a gunman coup of Haiti would have been more effective there. Or like, if you're really worried, maybe you do coup with alliance just to make sure. But oh, sure. Yeah, that would have been better. I don't know if I would use the Pope for that. What's well? What else would he use though? Would you use flower? You got to play brush. For oh, that's flower. true. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about so, having to play so brush. Close brush. your ears, Justin. I think using the Pope like that was fine. <laughs> All right, he space shuttle and succeeded. I would have just dropped Asia, I think. But actually, space was pretty important there. That's yeah. Pretty important for yeah. yeah. I forgot about it. It's been going on for mm -hmm. so long. Yeah, I don't think has Frank even taken a shot at this space slot? He took one, yeah. Okay. 
Because there was a, the first turn it was available, they both failed. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should take a real line, I think. Oh, 100%. do it with uh, you want to save salt yeah i mean just take a quick one with kitchen and see what happens it's a plus two could get lucky and totally knock him out yeah matt's got to play which he's a great one but he's got to play gunman because you got to get that back in the deck mm -hmm. and then you gotta score gunman's his path to win right now mm -hmm. all right kitchen realign Matt rolls a six, but when it's plus two and Frank mm. pulls out a six of seven, so goes well. Oh, uh, no, so Gunman, no. No. Oh, no. No. Yeah, that's... Yeah, oh, this... there might not be a reshuffle. 17 in the draw? There's not going to be a reshuffle, so never mind. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Never mind. I like that. Well, there it goes. Columbia remains the last bastion of communism in the Americas. So what does Frank even brush? Oh, Libya is a pretty clear target. But yeah, this board does not look good for Mats. Yeah, I think it's got to be Libya. Oh, that helps a little, but... Well, Matt just needs to not look at any of the mid-war regions. Just the early wars. <laughs> mid-war is a mere... I mean, the mid-war is over 20 points against him now. Yeah. And Matt gets... Matt has not had great stuff to work with here. And let's make sure there was no reshuffle, would you guys? One of you guys? Uh, well, you can look at the the regions there was no reshuffle because you can still see the targets oh because it's got the scoring things mm -hmm. yeah okay frank has some stuff here yeah boy what do like, you do knowing that there wasn't a reshuffle like you aren't forced to use abm so yeah i think you go with green sales Oh, uh, well, Matt's got grain. Oh, wait. Oh, what What was I looking at then? Okay. Sorry, I'm looking at the small version of uh, Frank's hand right now. Oh, yeah. I might do Sadat. Oh, Sadat was what I saw. Okay. Oh, no. No, you have to get gunmen. Oh. Yeah, because if that, that's half. Yeah, because if you just play gunman for ops, and then force to reshuffle, back. well, he's got to force a reshuffle because he has to play our man or Kennedy, if not both of them. Oh yeah, so he just has to play. You're right. So he has to play gunman first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think unfortunately that's a pretty big mistake. Yeah. He could have done that and he could have held grain. He could have played Omit after playing Gunman, but before playing, before spacing grain. Mm -hmm. And really done some nice deck management there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is. Uh... Man, I don't it's see much of a. Now. Yeah, I don't see much of a path for Matt here. Unless, like, I mean, Frank takes Cuba here. It may be a, a slight. Right. Text me what the card is. <laughs> I'm not tracking. Yeah. Too much work. We do both Jer Jeremy gave up. It's too hard. Like, Matt doesn't even have a great card if he wanted to take Cuba right here instead of cooing a battleground. 
Ugh. We'll see. Mets had some bad hands, some bad luck. But there have been a couple of choices here that I haven't loved, too. Yeah. Not that one. Well, you have central in hand, I guess. Yeah. But that's just one of the, like, ah, because when you... If you take a coup as Zaire there, you at least flip it. Like, yeah. now maybe Frank is... Frank's also ABMing whatever you coup back, so... Oh, yeah. that's a good point. Pretty pretty bad position, no matter yeah. what. I, I think I would hold ABM if I'm Frank. Yeah, there's no reason to use it now. Yeah. I mean, just Libya, and that feels really bad. Yeah, just hold it, and if Matt does something in Africa next turn, you get it back. And he should go ahead and take Cuba, I think. Because that's going to be 7 VPs. He'll be at 11. Then two different scoring cards give him the win. Or actually, I suppose South America. Yeah, right. and... Yeah, he's holding China. I mean, there's, there's a slight chance that you could run into a DEFCON issue. But I think it's slight enough that yeah taking cuba is the best play this unspaceable you're gonna hope you get you hit, you hit your space roll here and actually with the no reshuffle um you're more likely to get ortega so actually i might have just talked myself out of taking cuba oh uh, this is good well no but we are going to get a reshuffle though because our man we're asked now they're going to trigger it you know that though he doesn't know that Matt has both of them. Yeah, he does. Oh, well, oh, that's true. There's one unknown card. So, all right, that's fair. I, I mean, he might be able to reasonably assume he can get a reshuffle, though. But he doesn't know. I don't know. It's going to work for him, but I'm not sure mm. if I 100% agree with it. I think it's probably fine, but it is a little bit of... It adds a little bit of risk into a game where he's pretty much got. Yeah, so, yeah. That's my complaint. Oh man, that's that's disgusting. Yeah. Wow, oh, man, just looking at Frank's hand, he's just got riches galore. Yeah, and OPEC is a great space card. The way he played one small step. Um, no, you don't even need to space OPEC. You just poke Libya. And it's one VP. One VP. Yeah. I might space he's Che. Space K. Yeah. Although even Che's not awful. Yeah, he's just gonna give Che and give up the coup in Saharan states. Oh, and of course the Costa Rica coup that always works. <laughs> it really shouldn't. Frank's just trying Actually, to figure out what the heck to do here. Frank, what about... Well, all right, so he's spacing Che. That's kind of a big miss, actually. Yeah. If you're Frank, I wonder if you bust into France. Oh, he's got plenty of ops for it. Yeah. At this point, you know that Matt doesn't have any more than a three op. Because I can't... Oh, is Purge seen... still out there? Is Purge the unknown card? I thought that or was... Or the, the card in the shuffle? That's what he took France with, right? That's what Matt took France with? That was turn three. Was that turn three? Oh, that was turn three. Okay, You're... yeah. So I don't think there are any four ops out there. Or there isn't a four op in the, the draw pile. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we haven't seen any of... Yeah, you're right. 
What about NATO was played, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so that makes sense. You're going to do that this turn at some point. And Matt can't really fight this central, unfortunately. No, he has no nothing option. you can do. I think you just drop it. I guess if you want to get... No, I mean, you just drop it. The, the thing you do if you want to fight... And I don't think this is a good plan, but you just take even real lines on Panama and hope. But yeah. I would just drop this. Yeah. yeah, that feels bad, but that's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Matt's had a number of those horrible scorings to play. Frank's saying in the chat he's happy that wasn't the one card so <laughs> no he's telling Matt that too not just us Frank does go ABM. Oh. No. This has to be Libya. There's nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. I mean, easy to say after you see it too, but I do think I liked holding it. Mm. No, I mean, two still. Oh, actually, he doesn't have access. Matt right. I was about to say, two still does a job. Just have to spend a little more to actually take it. Yeah, you don't want to play blockade because. I mean, you should know all... I guess you play it for ops, but... I, maybe I'm alone in this, but I think holding a known blockade is a fun, annoying thing to do. Yeah, and... Well, it isn't known right now. Yeah, but it would be next turn, right? Yeah. You know that it's almost known. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, if you're going to play it for ops, I suppose that's the place to do it. Frank is uh, has the luxury of not knowing what to do with these four ops. I I think your your plan with France was a good one. I suppose you could also do India if you're expecting to get tear down the swap. I feel like in an earlier game we called of Frank's, he avoided France in the mid war because he was thinking about tear down. So he might be thinking about that. True. All right. I just don't know what else. Well, I guess Middle East has. Dude, the, the Middle East, or you could do the same thing in India. Yeah. But that still won't get you dumb, right? Too. No, country count. I mean, it gets you close. Or, oh, well, no, because that India had been flipped by Matt. So, yeah, you still got a lot of work to do if you want dumb there. Yeah. No, I would just play somewhat conservative here. Yeah, yeah this is fine. Yeah, and you as Frank, you definitely want to force a reshuffle. Or wait, oh no, yeah. I'm sorry. No, 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 as Frank, you don't want to force a reshuffle. Well, but you're, you're thinking of war games, but there's also Ortega in there. I mean, Frank has the China card. Mm -hmm. Gunman is gone. I think I'm okay. Like, Delpec's a pretty neutral three op, though. Yeah. Not sure. No, all you have to do is poke one of the countries, because I'm assuming Matt's going to take Iraq. He's thinking of dumping OPEC.
discard both and try to draw Africa. Oh, because he knows he's he knows he won't get two scoring cards. Because the one unknown unknown is not a score. Oh, oh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, very small chance he'll get Africa, but South America would have also done it. Uh, this is alliance. Just, uh, um, yeah, I, I agree with that. Alliance for them. This is this is good though. I think. Okay, and here's the France jam. That is looking like GG, folks. Based on uh, oh, war and games. There is war games. In Frank's hand. And tear down. Yeah. Unless we see Aldrich, perhaps, in Mats. Let's see. We have mm -hmm. some good events, but not the one he needs. Yeah. Yeah, that should do it. Probably a reformer headline. Oh yeah, I would think so. I mean, Iranian is reasonable as well, but I think that you could event mid turn. It's not going to matter, but yeah. So this is so Frank has headline peak. Yeah, because you've got glass knots in hand, so I think I like getting the reformer off. Um, very sad to see Ortega in your hand. Mm -hmm. Although, I mean, Matt doesn't know that none of this matters. Teardown is pretty clear. It's gonna realign. Which I guess is fine. Does Matt have any way to get seven VP? I mean, you can just drop Defcon. There's no way for Matt to get seven VPs, but no. I mean, whatever. Frank, unfortunately, really doesn't have any problems in his hand. So if Matt, and he's going to coup, which is reasonable. Yeah. All right. So Matt's going to do it. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Now we see the good game before... The actual card, but all right. Um, so yep, Matt's uh, actually Matt had a really good season. You said at the beginning that he uh, he beat some pretty good players, but uh, yeah, he's actually entering the playoffs because me and him we we were the two that we did we didn't play each other. Um, so of the four other playoff teams, uh, that he faced, he was three and one. Yeah. So um, yeah, he had a great season. Um, Frank is going to go on and play, um, Peter Franz, who's the number one seed. He'll be playing from Turkey. So we're probably, well, we're definitely not going to have those games live, but, uh, but we'll see, um, see what happens there. Uh, next week we will have my, uh, final game against Craig and, uh, oh. we'll move on to the second round. All right. Thanks for watching everyone.